Recently, I stabbed myself with this uh, knife. It says right there, caution, retractable utility knife. It says it in like big letters. Why did you press it then? Uh, because I thought that it was how you unlocked it. But the open close for the unlock is on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was holding it on this side and it was the only button. And it says press, the button says press. It sure does, yeah. So I pressed it and then yeah. the knife came down into into my thumb. It didn't actually didn't actually draw blood, but I was like, in a space of about half a second, my brain was like, I am sensing something. Mm. Oh, that's a weird feeling. Oh, that actually hurts a little bit. Ow, 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 ow. And then I realized that I was being really stupid. Hey, everybody, welcome to Mail Time. The brain is a marvelous organ. Isn't it just? It's been a while. Uh, I, beyond knowing when we've done these things Or last, when this will even go up. Or when or, this goes up. Yeah. Who can say? But yeah. we have many things here to open, and we're going to start. And I'm going to start right now with this postcard, because it is delightful. Dear Dr. LRR, congrats on regaining the moon base uh, post-pandemic-ish. Uh, this was drawn... A while ago, so it's missing a few faces and Beach's new hair. Best wishes and kind regards, Evelyn in the UK. Now we've received things from Evelyn on a couple situations, but we have not uh, received, I don't think, original art from Evelyn before. No, and this is have. delightful. It's a group shot of all of us and Spoopifer and Gib, and I particularly enjoy that Kathleen has been canceled. Po postmark canceled. <laughs> Which, honestly, I think she would appreciate. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone just looks so adorable and cute. So, uh, yeah. To just walk around like that all day, like that, all day. Don't worry about my hair so much, is that uh, is that this has been a, a pandemic special. And at some point, it's all going to go away. As, as do we all. Eventually. Great start. Try my best. Try my best. <laughs> Keeping it, keeping it light, mm -hmm. keeping it tight. Yeah, you know how it is. No downers. What do you got over there? Uh, I got something that's like, per oh, there we go. Wait, it has no return address. Cool. I've got something perfectly square, which is like. When was it sent? Is this a Christmas card? This shop early, send early this Christmas. <laughs> we are recording this on November twenty fourth. <laughs> 2021. 2021 and i feel like this might be a christmas card for 2020 this was sent on we're clearing out the backlog folks uh december the 15th 2020 well they didn't send early did they no no oh it's from wh smith's oh that's nice or wh smith rather it was oh god it had glitter and it's all <laughs> oh, we're dying it was the night before christmas merry christmas doesn't even go any further than just twas the night before <laughs> twas Christmas. the night before Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is many a time I wish that poem had just gone that way. <laughs> Dear Doctors Loading Ready Run, presumably Graham or Beach. Hey, what's up? Thank you for all the time, effort, and commitment you have all put in this year. It has been a very weird one, and you mm -hmm. have all been a consistent bright spot throughout it. Then the Merry Christmas part that's already been written in the card, as you can see. Yeah. And it goes on all the best for what remains of this year. Thank you. And into the next one. Thank you. It's been 11 months. Uh, love, Sarah. Sar Sarsipan? Sarzipan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's say Sarzipan when I manage to appear in chat. Nice. Thank you, Sarah. And I heard him exclaim ere he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see, the way that it's angled, you pick it up like that. Uh -huh. and I, I was about to do it again. I was like, there's the button. No, you have to... Yeah. Anyway. You start with the flats like angled downward because you're trying to get like a clean cut. Yeah. I want to share also that this this small package so on the handwritten address, mm -hmm. it looks like it's from Christopher Walken. <laughs> but it's sure. actually that's an R. It's from someone named Walker. Uh-huh. But on the printed one that Christopher is not responsible for, they misspelled trousers. 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 Bionic trousers. All right, let's see what's inside here. It looks like a pack of magic cards. It is a pack of magic cards. It's a pack of Strixhaven. Chris from Texas for mail time. Awesome. Thank you for labeling it. Yes, that's very helpful. Dear Loading Ready Run crew, hello from Texas. Last week, I competed in my first MTG pre-release. Strixhaven looked sweet, and my local game store just recently started doing events again. Due in large part to learning about the set by watching the PPR, I made top eight. Wow. I want to thank y'all by sending you one of the prize packs I received. Thank you 
for all the amazing content. Your humor has really helped me through the ups and downs of the past few years. Sincerely, Chris, Music Man 345. This was sent in April. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Congratulations on doing so well at the Strixhaven pre-release. We should probably be clear that, by and large, this is going to be a smattering of, I didn't, I didn't date everything when it showed up. Oh, yeah. Which I should probably be doing, but uh, we also had to move a lot of stuff around because of Desert Bus. Beach had it roughly organized, roughly organized, in sort of a pile off camera here. And then that pile moved over there. Yeah. And then it moved back. And whoever was doing the moving was not aware of Beach's rough organizational techniques. It's true. So it is no longer in any semblance of order. I think somebody so, even left this room and went to another room, so. We, great. Yeah. So we, we just grabbed a selection of things in different sizes. Yeah. Tried to make them as old as possible. This so is the old. big one. Yeah. It is heavy lured. Heavy lured. Uh, this is from us. And it's to someone who was supposed to have received it and apparently it bounced back and came to us. I don't think I should open this on mail time. <laughs> But it certainly did end up in the wrong bin. Moved. Oh. Ah. Hey, if you're AJ and you're expecting something from us, what would... I hope you're watching Mail Time, because it's probably the only way you're going to find out about it. Was a pin? Was this a giveaway? Maybe we did it when was. Did, when did we ship this? <sighs> See, that's why it's, it's, things don't get dated, and it's hard to tell <laughs> cool. when stuff happens. So. I love that you grabbed oh, that without even realizing. April 29th. That's when we shipped it. What would we have given away in April? I couldn't tell you. All right. Uh, I have an envelope it was here. Me doing a pass the turn thing. <laughs> uh, this was mailed from Champaign, Illinois, or Champagne, because there's no e on the end of it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Champaign, Illinois. Uh, it's a card, and it also says "Hello." That oh, no. clearly has to be the thing you read first, <laughs> unless it fell out of the card. Oh no, we may not. We may be late. Hi. My name is Dan, uh, Dania, Dan, Dania. Let's see. It's it looks lovely. D a D a n i a j a. Oh. It's da Dan Daniaja, Daniaja. I'm know. not sure how to pronounce that. I'm afraid, but it looks like a beautiful name. I don't know if this is super weird or if it happens all the time, but my fiance is a huge fan of you guys and looks up to you all so much, especially Graham. That's very sweet of you. I'm not sure I'm even sending this to the right place, but I was wondering if there's anything you guys could do, say, or send as a wedding gift to him, even as much as declining the invitation would send him to the moon. I know it's a long shot, but he loves you guys so much and has sacrificed a lot for our wedding, and this would mean the world to him. All the best, D&D. &D. And this is a save the date uh, for uh, from... Danny Aya Davis and Dylan Chambers invite you to join them as they celebrate their marriage uh, oh, this is quite recent, actually. This oh, is, good. D relatively speaking, September 18th. Of this year. A of 2021, mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. Missed it by... A little late. At the Church of Christ in Champagne. Uh, please join us for dessert and dancing at 7.30. And well, Champagne? We might be able to make it to the reception. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> please RSVP by... August 18th. Darn it. Might have missed that point. Might have missed that. Um, hey, congratulations to you both. I hope you had a wonderful time. Many happy returns. Yeah. Um, I, I have nothing to offer, I'm afraid, but, uh, um, except for mispronouncing the bride's name. Hey, congrats, you two. Um, what else you got over there? Oh, nothing. You want to hand me, do we have anything else? Sure, yeah, we got this. Cool, let's try this. I think this is from the PM Avers Spring Collection. Oh, yes it is. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to be... Oh, you know what? What? It just peels right back. That's good. That's I it. should say, for D&D &D over here, because um, this is not the first save the date we've received in mail time. Mm -hmm. Chances of us making it to a given wedding. Very slim. Very slim. Mm -hmm. During a pandemic... Damn near impossible. <laughs> yes. But don't not send them. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Because, mm -hmm. Anyway, what you got? Uh, I have uh, new Marvel things. Oh. Uh, Ant-Man for Marvel Champions. Oh, Ant-Man. And also doesn't really fit into the Marvel milieu. Another Arkham Horror expansion looks like it's in too deep. It's a Mythos pack. <laughs> Scenario 3. All right. So new expansions for games that we haven't played yet. Can we send Ant-Man into the Arkham Horror? 
you know, I think if we send him through the quantum realm, he can go to whatever game he wants. Are these compatible? Is what I'm saying. Well, the weird thing is that they they're made by the same. They're made by Fantasy Flight. Yeah. And they're. I don't th I don't think they're compatible, but I I want to think that like the Hulk could fight Cthulhu. They're both sixty cards, so yeah. yes. Okay, great. The, that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Sixty cards. They also stand up on their own, which is really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. You got uh, what else do we have? Uh, well, we have this, which is uh, I love this. This is misspelled in a different way. So this was addressed by the sender correctly to Bionic Trousers Media Inc. Um, and again, what the postal office wrote down was Tionic. They spelled trousers right, but they turned a B into a T. Mm hmm. Maybe they thought it was like tonic trousers. And maybe just... we'll blame the. Maybe if. How do you spell bionic? Mm -hmm. T? Great, we'll write it down. Mm -hmm. When I say correctly sent, by the way, this is wrong now. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. There's many errors. Beach is very annoyed with me that this is wrong. <laughs> I'm not that annoyed. I know uh, it's going to get fixed. Yes. Uh, so they've, for whatever reason, Canada Post has changed how the P.O. Box thing works. So it's now P.O. Box 8132 Station Central. You can write STN for yeah. station if you want. Instead of Victoria, Maine. Yeah. I cannot fathom a world where you address something to Victoria, Maine, and they go, I've never heard of that, and yeah. don't send it to, because it's the same physical location that it was before, and the postal code is the same and correct, but also, it's not care of mail time, it's attention mail time. Yes. That's the part. They that, do prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't copy-paste off of here, and it'll be correct in the video description, um, but I haven't had time to update that, so. Yeah. Anyway, maybe the intro was correct, and we don't know it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> what a weird and what a weird time to live in, right? I'm not gonna make any promises. Sure. All right. Let's this tiny knife. At least like the other one, which I've lost, uh, doesn't retract. Oh right, yes the 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 Australian the Dunnings one. Warehouse or whatever yeah. it is. All right. Oh. Read first, please. All right, I will I, ignore everything else in that box. I love clear directions. Mm -hmm. Hey, Graham, and presumably Beige. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven E's. Mm -hmm. I think that was an appropriate length of hey. Happy March, or where, well, whenever this is received. I just wanted to send you all the wonderful people at LRR a package of appreciation and a quick story about the impact LRR has had on me. I've been a big fan for a long time, and although I can't remember how I initially found LRR, probably Friday nights. I have devoured and enjoyed countless hours of content that you all have produced over the years, so first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you. You're very welcome. First off, the enclosed contains an English reproduction cartridge of Seiken Densetsu 3. What? Or Secret of Mana 2 here in the West. Okay. For the Super Nintendo. <laughs> uh, for anyone in the moon base interested in playing the next iteration of the franchise, whether at home or stream, as long as someone is enjoying it. And as long as you have a Super Nintendo, you can plug it into. I mean, I have a, um, that like Game Boy, not Game Boy, Super Boy. Yeah. It's a handheld thing about this big. Oh yeah. That you can plug SNES carts well, into. This will fit. That's cool. Seiken Densetsu. That's awesome. I never got around to playing it and it was just collecting dust on the shelf. So I figured someone at the moon base could put it to better use. Wow. Repro cartridges are weird because it's like they're hard to come by, but also they're not exhaustive. Because mm -hmm. it's like you have one, you're not playing it. Well, that's fine because if you want to buy it again in the future, you probably can still. It's not like buying Secret of Mana, which would probably cost you $300. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. Secondly, I wanted to let you guys and gals know that for years, I've been trying to get my own passion, writing, off the ground and was running into the same roadblocks over and over again that most people encounter when trying to break into that particular industry. Over a period of years, I finally completed something I felt worthy of making it to print. Others did not agree. <laughs> rejection notice after rejection notice piled up. I'm sorry for chuckling, but that's very well, well worded. It's like you're good at writing. Mm. Uh, I even got one rejection a full year later. That sucks. That sucks. Wow. I was losing hope things might not work out. Then I happened to come across the LRR stream where the banner of LRR's future timeline was brought out from a much earlier skit, which we literally yesterday were like, <laughs> Kathleen was cleaning out the prop room yesterday. Yeah. I was like, is this what that is? And I was like, yes. And she's like, do we need to keep this? And I was like, yeah, hang on to that. 
<laughs> so we did with a much earlier skit of Graham and Paul documenting the future of LRR. It made me very happy to see how much LRR had grown in the time since then, and I can't fathom the amount of hard work, trial and error, risk and fortitude it took to build what you've all created. After watching that video, I sat back and eventually came to the conclusion that I should, in my best Thanos voice, just do it myself. So I did. I created my own business and eventually published not one, but two fantasy novels, despite many people saying it wasn't good enough or wasn't possible to do what I was attempting to do. Mm. There are many people I'm thankful for and grateful for their help in getting these projects accomplished, and LRR was a major inspiration in convincing me to take the plunge and put in the extra effort required to make my passion and dream a reality. I've enclosed a copy of each as a sign of my appreciation for everything you do and the people you inspire, so thank you. So we've got, there's more to the letter, but we've got Night Song by DC Trevitt and Silver Tyrant, volume two of the Dragon Sold Chronicles. And lastly, I wanted to give a special thank you to Cam. A few years ago, I was suffering from a bad case of the flu and happened to come across Cam's original Etten campaign. I've never played D&D or anything like it before and never had much interest, but it was legitimately the only thing that kept me grounded in reality between extended bouts of fevered delirium. I can't imagine watching a Cameron D&D campaign <laughs> drifting in and out of fevered delirium. Right? Cam and his players did a fantastic job in that campaign, and although I don't recall the ending due to said fever, I had to restart from the beginning a few times due to gaps in memory, I was extremely appreciative of the help it gave me in getting through my illness. So when you see him next, please give Cam a big thank you from me. Thanks again for everything all of you at LRR do, and here's hoping for a much better year for everyone in 2021. Cheers. Dan D.C. Trevitt. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. And uh, you missed the uh, Easter egg. The witch? When you open the interior... <laughs> That's, that's a bump. A, that's a bump in the night. Yeah, we're not done. Oh, is there another one? Because they're like, well, if you're going to have one uh, book, you might as well... Is it Squee? That's Squee. Oh, my goodness. Even more meta. Congrats on publishing. Yeah. Getting your thing in an actual book. Just very satisfying. I, I love that. It's like, oh, people don't want me to do the thing. I'll do the thing myself. Sometimes it's Hell all yes. it takes. Now, yeah. this is very heavy lured. Yeah. I'm gonna move this off. To the this side. is incredibly heavy. This is he, they, these these heavy stickers they put on if it weighs more than 50 pounds, or 22.7 kilos, as we would have it here. Mm -hmm. And this was sent from Cincinnati. Oh, and it's been uh, it was sent on February oh my 2021. God. Okay, at least it's February 2021. Yeah, and uh, I'm not entirely certain. Please. I know. I have a base idea of what's inside. Please, no perishables. We uh, we're at the point now. I mean, we're going to be catching up because we're back. A little, we're not back in the moon base. Back in the moon base, but just being a little bit more back in the moon base, it it definitely feels like we will slowly get back to doing this a little more often. But yeah, by and large, it's. Uh, I'm going to pull that out so we don't accidentally show off the address. There we go. There. We will hopefully get to the perishables way faster than we than than would be a thing. All right, lots of good packing material. Oh, they you packed the sides completely with bubble wrap. Interesting. This looks like a note and a bunch of envelopes. Oh, I hope there's instructions with this one because everything is individually. Oh Lord Almighty! Everything is individually wrapped. That's why it says heavy Lord on the side. Labeled and numbered. Yeah, because heavy Lord, Lord Almighty. Yeah. Okay. Dear Doctors Lur, relatively short time viewer here, only two to three years of active following. Before that, I was vaguely aware of the existence of Loading Ready Run, but it was on the periphery of my awareness, much like a lot of people. We don't judge anyone yeah. for how long or short you've been viewing, by the way. Uh, since getting into proper watching, uh, proper and correct <laughs> Loading Ready Run observation techniques. Uh, Quirp line, panelists, road quests, and your crap shots in particular have been regular follows, and I often use them as uh, show accompaniment. Oh, lovely. That's interesting. It says show, show we. I don't know if that's actually a word I'm supposed to know, but I'm just going to assume it's show. Maybe sure. It's just, but yeah. yeah. I appreciate your work and happen to come into a small one or two. <laughs> Happy to come into a small monetary windfall as a result of the Christmas season. February 2021, right? As such, I decided to prepare, you, prepare for you some gifts enclosed are. Thank you. This is amazing. Thank you very much. In the packages labeled E1 through E7. Uh, okay, here's E... Oh, Lord. Here's E1. Uh-huh. This feel. This is hefty. So... 
Should I open this? Do you want to just get E1 through E7 okay. out first right. so we Let can me, show how okay. much there is? So there's, so this is, uh, thumb drive, open last, read letter first. Uh-huh. This is E6 and 7. Great. Uh, this is E2. This is E3. They're all roughly the same size, aren't they? They sure are. Mm -hmm. uh, E4, E5, right. and then 6 and 7. And then there's, uh, there's a black... Pouch. Oh, we'll get to all that other CDs, stuff, I promise. Cards. Okay, yeah. I'll just, let me pull out sure. all of the things and we can move the box out of the way. Oh lord, hang on. Yeah, you got, you got a hand on it? Yep, we're fine, we're fine, okay. we're fine. I think that's uh, everything. Let's have a quick boo in here. That seems right? Yeah. Okay. You got that? Yep, ow. I, I... Uh, this is a lot of fun uh, for me because this is exactly this is how my mother sends us our care packages every year. She wraps every Wrapped individual toothbrush paper. and oh. and and dental floss in a in a thing for us to open, which is okay. super fun. <laughs> e one through E seven. Okay. Just about every major book currently out for the Exalted Third Edition role playing game. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you ever want to play Exalted? Well, now we can play all of Exalted. This is. <laughs> That's the first book. This is a phone book. This is a... <laughs> I'm sorry for the microphones. This is a hardcover phone book. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. It's quite the thing. Wow. And this is... This is dent. There are fewer illustrations than I was expecting of a book of this size. I'm going to help open these, this, actually. Let me just... Hang on. <laughs> All right, Exalted Book Unpackaging Montage. Good gracious. Mm -hmm. All right. But we're not done. No, I, I, I infer that we are not. S1 through S3. S1. Through S3. I assume that's, yeah, that's these ones, okay. Yep. The current major books, whoops, I'll wait until you're done opening that. All right. The current major books for the Scion 2nd Edition role-playing game. <laughs> you wanna get? Yep. S2 there. So book one, origin, book two, hero, and mysteries of the world, the Scion companion. This is kind of cool. This is 10 pantheons of gods. The Ooh. Algonquin, Aztec, Chinese, Egyptian, Japanese, Greek, and Roman, Hindu, Irish, Norse, and Yoruban god, gods. But I just love that the Algonquin gods are in there. That's interesting. Yeah. Or Algonquian. All right. Comics. Oh. Dresden Files. These are some comics that I, uh, I had that I thought might possibly interest you all. So these are from uh, their personal collection, I guess. Cool. Prototype, three prototype, of prototype. Jim Butcher's Dresden Files and three of Prototype. Nice. I guess inspired by the game? The multi-platform video game from Activision comes to comics. Suggested for mature readers. Neat. Uh, feely books. <laughs> Shall I? I don't... Well, like, here, let me see if I can... You want to first? Or you want to guess? Well, it, it, that either means... That means one of two things. Mm hmm All right. It's like a physical thing for toddlers. Me yeah, sure. Like Pat the Bunny. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, like a, I don't know, a book that... Adult makes, erotica? Makes you... Not what I was thinking. Okay, cool. Or the books that give you feels. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are a number of pack-in bonus books from pre-ordering oh. games over the years. Oh, okay. Persona Q, Shadows of the Labyrinth, art book. Uh, the Art of Dead Space, Designing a Nightmare. The Art of Dead Rising 2. The Art of Fallout 3. I've and a map of some sort. A map. We'll find out what the map is for. Of. Oh, Winterhold. Is this Skyrim? Skyrim? Ah. The province of Skyrim. Nice. This is a nice paper. Is it all? Yeah, it is. It's. I was going to say it's felt, but it isn't felt. It's just really nice. But it felt nice. Yeah. I've never seen this size of book, or even this popular, this size of book, for 
four different styles of, hey, we've made a book. Here's an art book. That I can't even refold the map of Skyrim. <laughs> there we go. I did it. CDs. CDs. Multi this is not more than one? An array of pack-in bonus CDs oh. from buying games over the years. Aha. Aha. So this is Fallout, Persona Q, Shin Megami Tensei, Legend of Legacy, Project X Zone. Oh, it's uh That's the weird like mashup of So it's got music from Tekken, Namco, X Capcom, Super Robot Wars, Dot Hack, Adventures of Valkyrie, Dead Rising, Devil May Cry, Mega Man Dash, Darkstalkers, Ghosts, mm, Goblins, Cyberbot Rival Schools, and Virtua Fighter. And then original music for yeah, the Project it's, X. It's a weird uh, it's a weird mashup video game of a whole bunch of characters showing up from different series. Huh. Yeah. Very odd. Cool. Novella. Novella. This is a copy of The Emperor's Soul, a novella by Brandon Sanderson. It is a very good read that I think many of you might appreciate. Cool. Uh, cards. This is the last thing. Yep. No, it's not. Well, yeah, there's other things, but yeah. Okay, hold up. This is the last thing that is... Uh... Yeah. Well, no, because there's the thumb drive, it said. This is a tarot deck from Dishonored. Yeah. It's kind of cool, eh? Cool. I like Dishonored a lot. I didn't know there was a... Tarot deck. Oh, art from uh, different characters in the series. I'm guessing. Yeah, in the, in the game, as it were. The boatman is the boatman. The twins, the hermit. Give me the swords. Where are the swords at? Where's my nine of swords? Yeah. Come home absolutely twisted. The empress. That makes it. Oh, okay. Tarot cards and then playing cards. Ah. There's a set of tarot cards and then there's a set of uh, you playing can probably... cards. But the suits are swords. Rats, skulls, and guns. I'm guessing you can probably use those to fill in the minor cards. You have your major arcana and you have your minor yeah. whatever. Okay. Cool. The dice bag. Oh, right. The dice bag. Yeah, you pulled that it, out. It blends in with the table. I mm -hmm. forgot about it. The dice bag contains... What do you think is in there? Um, a small colony of hamsters. Nope. No, they're actual dice. A set of tiki torches. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, dice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How many do you think are in there? They're D10s. Two dozen. 100. What? In five different colors, which would be useful for playing the above RPGs. Uh. Apparently these are all D10 RPGs. Hang on, inside the bag I found another bag? Oh, they're double sacked, interesting. <laughs> double sacked for protection? Mm -hmm. I like that though, that's a cool idea. Five different colors. There are the colors. While I have not had the opportunity to play in a full campaign of the system, I've heard that the Dragon Blooded and Lunar Exalt character types are generally easier and more fun to play due to Solars being unnecessary fiddly and full of dice tricks. 94. I rolled a 94. Good. I will go to the next page. In addition, wait, yes, in addition, I would like to bring to your attention the fact that Panelist Season 2 as well as the Krog and Dave Spokesman YouTube playlists are out of chronological order. So... Dang it! Now, you have provided your Discord. I hope you belong to our Discord. <laughs> and, and if you do belong to our Discord, we actually have a sheet on the Discord. Uh, I think it's pinned. Uh, either it's within their content or just pinned to the Discord or however it is. Uh, that when you notice things like uh, that are weird about the YouTube channel, you can go to that sheet and you can point out bugs that you've noticed. Um, but also gives you an opportunity to see... This is, goes for everybody. It's not just you here, Dennis. Um... Because that, for that is your name, uh, that you can just go there and log a bug there, or you can see if other people have logged a bug before you. Because sometimes people will be like, "Oh, the thing is is not in chronological order. It's it's all reversed." It's like, yeah, that's because <laughs> YouTube actually used to allow you to put them in either direction. So yeah, so we'd have them in a certain order, and then people be like, "But I like to play them in the other order." And like, well, you can change that in YouTube as a user. You can just be like, "Oh, I'll just play in the opposite order." They took that out. Yep. Why? Because people were using it. There's probably an episode or two that's maybe not in, oh, in yeah, a recognizable that, that's order. Odd. The panelists' returns is oh, it is, it is a bit odd actually. So that probably has to do with when we got shunted out of being a show or a series. A series, yeah. And it got turned into whatever this is now. So hmm. that's great. 
we'll take a look at it. It's nice to see, though, that after everything disappeared off the YouTube channel, when it all came back, it all came back just as messed up as it was. Just as wrong as always, yep. <laughs> anyway, I hope these gifts find you all in good health and that you all enjoy. Wishing you well. Dennis. Thank I, you, Dennis. I gave that part away early, clearly, yeah. but yes. Thank you, Dennis. That's great. So did they explain what this was? Thumb yes. Thumb drive, open last, read letter first? Yes. Don't open it. I promise you, don't open it. I know it says open last, but it doesn't mean open on screen. It just means open last. Okay. Don't open it. <laughs> well, on that highly suspicious note, uh... I mean that's all we have to open for yeah. this for this uh, for this mail time. But don't worry, there will be more stuff to open, and there will be more mail times. Yeah, there will. Now I've got to. I shouldn't have done this. I got to put all these dice back in this bag now. I mean, I knew what I was doing. You just put your hand in and showed the dice. No, no, I knew what I was. I didn't even. I didn't dump all of them out. But that's a lot. This is a lot of dice. This yeah. is so many dice. I hear it's a hundred. <laughs> Fully, you'd been warned. Somewhere close to that, certainly. Yeah. Hey, thanks everybody for sending stuff. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching Mail Time. Uh, a reminder that uh, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. And if you'd like to send us something, which you obviously don't have to, um, that's almost the address, but it's also in the description of the video. And you can find the address to our P.O. box. And uh, we're catching up. So we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> thanks. Bye. Bye.